Hi, I'm Ed for more music and more guitars.com here in Evansville, Indiana. And I have the joy to play the 60th anniversary, 1960 Les Paul. These are coming at you, they're here. This is the one with the version one neck. Uh, over the course of that decade, there were three different neck profiles that were associated with Les Pauls. And they are releasing them sequentially. So this is a version one, right? It's a little bit chunkier than the 60 Slim Taper neck, but not much. I mean, I own a Les Paul Classic Plus. That's been my Lester for 20 years. It's got the 60 Slim Taper neck, and this is very, very, very similar. And I really can't tell the difference yet. I think it's a subtle, subtle difference in the neck profiles. But as it is a historically accurate recreation down to, I mean, everything, the guts, the plastic, the dye, the, the everything about this guitar is historically accurate. If you went back in time, the only difference that this is a particular one with the, with the vintage patina, it's a BOS finish, but if you got a high gloss one and you went back in a time machine, that would be the guitar. It's that accurate. And, uh, you know, everything from the, the custom burst buckers, which are, would have uh, Alnico three magnets and they're unpotted. So if you're really into high gain, this is going to be a guitar that might be high, hard to tame because there wasn't that much high gain back in the 60s. So you didn't have to worry about that. No one was potting pickups until later on. So check it out with the clean channel, okay? I'll go through the three pickup selections, starting with the neck. But yeah, it's a non-wax potted pickup. Uh, again, historically accurate, just fantastic feeling. And you know, the 60th anniversary, you know, it's only gonna be available this year. You know, they come only every 60 years, right? That's what makes it a, anyway, you get the idea. It's available here at moremusicandmoreguitars.com. Definitely, definitely check it out.